Well, look, there are reports coming out of Los Angeles that their star forward Kawhi Leonard might be on the verge of once again shocking the world. Where were you a couple years ago when Kawhi Leonard made the decision to join the Los Angeles Clippers and had, I'm not going to even lie, had me and my Los Angeles Lakers, we were stunned. We thought we had him. But Kawhi stunned us, and then he also got some reinforcement with Paul George and took his talents to Los, Los Angeles, the Clippers. Would Kawhi be looking to make a move once again? So how did we get to this point? If you remember in the second round of the playoffs, Kawhi partially tore that ACL. And let me tell y'all something, man. I am not confident that Kawhi Leonard will be in the Clippers uniform, period, next year. Now, does that mean he'll still be on that Clippers roster? That's to be seen. But I don't think Kawhi is playing basketball next year. A partial tear could easily keep him out until December or January. And what have we learned about Kawhi if nothing else? What do we know about him? He cares about his body, for real. All right? Like, seriously, this dude doesn't trust a lot of team doctors, and maybe justifiably so, but he is going to, if he doesn't feel 100% confident in his body, he ain't playing. He did it with the Spurs. For him to be healthy with the Raptors, it took him missing pretty much every other game, and we'll see what happens with the Clippers. Reportedly, there was a little bit of a disagreement between Kawhi Leonard and that Clippers medical staff about what was going on with his knee. He ended up getting some second opinions and found out that his uh, knee had a partial tear in it. So if you're the Clippers, it's like, is this dude mad at us? Is there a possibility he leave us after all we've done to bring him here? And Paul George as well? Is he going to leave us high and dry? We shall see. What Kawhi Leonard could possibly do is opt out of his deal. If he were to opt out of his deal, he'd be an unrestricted free agent. If you're an unrestricted free agent, He'd have, a, he'd have a few teams that could sign him straight up and down. If he wanted to get other teams involved, what he would need to have happen is have the Clippers, his former team at that point in time, work with his, the team that he wants to go to and work out a sign and trade that allows these teams to do this from a uh, cap financial uh, cap perspective. So we shall see. But there are reports out there that Kawhi Leonard could very well easily opt out of his deal. Now, to be fair. If Kawhi Leonard opts out of this deal, the last year with the Clippers, that doesn't mean he's necessarily leaving Los Angeles. He could easily opt out of this deal and go get another bag with the Clippers right now. Rehab on their dollar. All right? But that also could mean he could be potentially looking at teams like the New York Knicks that got all the cap space in the world to sign a Kawhi. If they wanted to, to be real with you, they could potentially bring in a Kawhi and a Chris Paul if they were both willing to take a little bit of a pay cut. But we shall see. Again, the reports coming out of Los Angeles Clipperland today are there are no promises towards Kawhi in his future. All things are still on the table. Y'all let me know what y'all think Kawhi Leonard will do as we get closer and closer to NBA free agency, the 2021 edition. All right? Should be a fun, festive ride. You want to make sure you're locked in with your boy on this platform here. Subscribe at Hoops Pharaoh for the latest and the greatest in NBA free agency 2021. All right? Lock in, subscribe, and I'll keep you guys up to date. I'm out.